Hey, thank you for joining a beginner handstand workout with me. You only need a wall and a mat. Don't worry, this workout is for every level, even if you're afraid to do handstands. Let's start with a nice warm up. Our first superset consists of plank rocks and a wrist mobility exercise. Place your hands in the plank position underneath your shoulders. Make sure your elbows are fully locked out and protract your shoulders so your scaps are active. This strength in the scapulas has a valuable transfer to the ideal handstand position. Spread your fingers wide and grab the floor in order to distribute pressure through your full hand. Now lean forward as much as it feels comfortable. You should be able to feel the pressure gets more intense towards your fingertips. This is ideally what happens while you're holding a handstand and it is called microstabilization. This exercise and handstand exercises in general can be pretty stressful on the wrists in the beginning. This is why placing the wrist mobility in between the plank sets is valuable and preferred. Roll from the fist to the back of the hand and sink down with the chest. The closer you place your knees to your hands, the less pressure you will create on your wrists. Feel free to add this exercise as often as needed.
Before we are doing a handstand upside down, we have to understand the tension in our body that is needed in order to hold a stacked or straight body line. This perception and control of your body called proprioception is distorted if you're not familiar with handstand positioning. So we will mimic the position by first lying on the floor. Spread your fingers, elbows are locked out, shoulders are shrugged as much as possible towards your ears, your ribcage is tucked to the belly button, your pelvis is tilted like a hollow body, the glutes are squeezed, knees are straight and don't forget to point your feet. Squeeze them together so much that nobody would be able to pull them apart. Our mobility exercise is a scapular mobility that we perform while standing. The goal is to try to keep the arms straight and next to your ears the entire drill. Therefore we want to shrug the shoulders to our ears. This is what most directly mimics the ideal handstand position. In order to create more range of motion in the position we will do 8 shrugs to and away from your ears. And make sure that you don't arch your lower back and keep your pelvis tilted. The next exercise will teach us this crucial scapular movement while being inverted. So place yourself in a downward dog position and shrug your shoulders to and away from your ears as much as you can, just like you did in the standing position of our previous superset. Bend your knees if your hamstring mobility doesn't allow you to keep the knee straight at the moment. This movement will allow you to create more range of motion the more often you do this exercise. Even if you feel like not much is happening at the moment, this is completely normal and will translate to a better handstand position. We will superset this exercise with arched snow angels. I love this exercise because it not only strengthens your core, back muscles and glutes, but also functions as a mobility exercise for your shoulders. Again, pull your shoulders to your ears when your arms are overhead. When rotating them to your back, you can push them away from your ears.
Are you ready to get a little more vertical? You better be. Now we will work with the wall to help us to hold a quality position. We will do an angled wall hold in this superset, but please choose the version you feel the most comfortable with. For the handstand angled wall hold, we start about half a meter distance from the wall. Place your hands shoulder width apart, elbows locked out, shoulders shrugged and walk up your feet until you reach a nice hollow body line. We always want to create smooth lines as opposed to angles. Try not to bend but rather extend your hips by pushing them a little bit towards the wall. If you don't feel comfortable upside down yet, then perform the exercise standing about 1 meter distance away from the wall and create a nice hollow shape in the standing position. Focus on the same key points, shoulders shrugged, pelvis tilted so your abs are engaged in order to create a nice smooth and hollow body line. For our mobility exercise we need the wall again to perform wall slides. Make sure you keep your lower back in contact with the wall and your arms as well. With the last superset I want to show you how to actually get into the handstand. You don't have to do a handstand if you don't feel comfortable enough right now. So again, choose your level. The starting position is the most important step that you should focus on. Place your hands shoulder width apart, fingers are spread, keep your elbows locked out and shrug to your ears. We don't ever want to leave this position because when we are upside down it is very hard to make corrections. Place your pushing leg about half a meter from your hands and straighten the kick up leg. Perform a few sets and try first to get to an L shape. If you feel more comfortable you can start bringing your legs together. This exercise should teach you the amount of kick up intensity you need in order to hit the right comfort. You will likely do some kick ups that are underbalanced and some that will be overbalanced. Don't worry, this is completely normal. You will also notice a huge difference between your legs. One is usually more controlled than the other one. I recommend you to practice kickups with both legs to get as balanced as possible. But don't be frustrated if one of them feels really awkward. If you don't want to get upside down yet, you should perform downward dog leg lifts. Focus really hard on the shoulder position and locked out arms. Lift one leg at a time as straight and high as possible and especially squeezing your glute muscles in order to activate. So keep trying to lift your hips a little higher and you can push the other leg to your toes. In between sets we will do a kneeling to pike mobility exercise to get more range of motion in the hamstrings and also to strengthen the shoulder position that we are aiming for in a handstand. Create more distance between your knees and hands to make this exercise easier.
I hope this workout gave you a little taste of how to get upside down. Please let me know which exercise you like the most in the comments and keep practicing. I want you to encourage that everyone can learn a handstand. It doesn't matter what age, body type or skill level you are. And remember, every master was once a beginner.